Hello, Fooby. I'm sure Will's not gonna realize that I am starting a vlog because we're gonna be in two different places this morning. He's still in bed asleep, and I'm on my way to, where am I going, Brookshire's? Um, I'm gonna be heading over there to pick up a thing of diapers. So the person's baby shower I'm going to, it's Sean and Emily. Um, they put on their registry that they wanted Amazon, I guess is their, you can get like baby registries, and they want Amazon as their registry. I am terrible, I'm sure Sean's gonna watch this. I am literally terrible at like being a last minute person to get things. I'm literally 15 minutes outside the baby shower and I am heading right now over to get some diapers and because I think it's a diapers in Amazon or something like that. So I'm heading to get some diapers with an Amazon gift card right now, 15 minutes beforehand. And <laughs> it's terrible. I'm probably gonna be like 10 minutes late, but it's just the life I lead. I feel like I like living life on the edge. I like having that last minute. I don't know what it is they say. This could be just a cop out, but they say that great minds and people who are very successful are always late. And I am one of those people, although I'm not that successful yet. I'm working on being very successful, but still got a ways to go on that. But I woke up this morning pretty hungover, I'd say. I had well, I had six beers throughout like a period of time yesterday, which is a lot for my body, especially when I haven't been drinking. Um, and I was trying to drown my sorrows because, I mean, I kind of really wanted to be pregnant and I wasn't and I got that thing and it made me so excited that I was gonna be pregnant. I'm sure other women have probably, no, I don't know actually. I don't know if a woman, like in my comments at least, has ever got a false positive. Um, I'm sure people have been pregnant and had miscarriages or they've wanted to be pregnant and they understand that. And I really was like, I mean I felt it. Like for those like three or four days that I thought it was, I've kind of felt like mom. I was like, oh my body's great. I was eating well. I was uh, taking it light on CrossFit and like just trying to be like an overall like, oh, I've got a bun in the oven or a seed because it would have been the like size of a poppy seed. And it wasn't, uh, it was nothing in the oven. And every symptom that I had, the fatigue and all that was just, I guess my body being weird. And I actually talked to Steph 28T, who's Nick 28T's wife, if you don't know her. And she was like, you know, um, I mean, she was obviously felt bad about it, but she was like, I hear that if you, if you treat your body like you're already pregnant, then there's a possibility, like it's maybe easier for you to become pregnant. So maybe after I have this bender this weekend, because I'm just, is that what they call it by the way? Sometimes I use terminology, I don't know what I even use it for. But after I freaking go on a bender, I think it is for this weekend and have some drinks because I got a baby shower and a birthday today. Um, maybe I stop drinking again. I cut out Red Bull, I cut out a bunch of stuff and try to treat my body as though it is pregnant. And then maybe I'll become pregnant. So we're gonna try again, month number five, heading on to month number five. Maybe, maybe just maybe we'll make a baby, we don't know. We, we'll have a lot more time. Um, at the Sidemen house, obviously, I didn't want to do that at their house. I didn't want to practice at the Sidemen house. So we only really had when we were um, in a hotel in London to try to practice. And so now we'll be home. Um, I think jet lag kind of messes your body up with a lot of things, so I won't have to worry about that at least till September whenever I head back to London. So hopefully by then it'll have already happened. But if it doesn't, obviously we've been through this. It takes people sometimes years. It could take me years. My friend's sister actually took her two years. She was getting like uh, shots and all this different stuff done because she, it was taking her so long. And she's now, she's actually pregnant and she's like four months into it. So she's probably gonna have it and it's exciting. So I know it happens, I know all this stuff, but it just sucks to have like a false positive. Anyway. Um, I'm heading over to Brookshire's and then I'm gonna go to the baby shower. I'll try to show you. I was really bad. I didn't, Doobie will probably have done the vlog yesterday and been like, he's gonna text me and be like, where's your footage from yesterday? I didn't vlog at all. I was supposed to, but I just, I had a me time, okay? He probably vlogged all the poker and you got to see that. But today, I will at least try to get a little bit of the baby shower and throw that in there. Anyway, let's get these uh, diapers and Amazon gift cards. Okay, diapers, check. I think I got the right ones. They say one on them. So for a newborn, 100 of them. Um, Amazon gift card, check. And then card. Well, let's see what it looks like. I didn't even read it actually. I should have, I just thought it was cute on the front so I went for it. Baby girl. And then it says, lucky you, lucky her, congratulations. I got it right on here. And just in case I don't have one in the card, which I don't think I do, we've got ourselves paper mate pin. Perfect. I gotta get a Gator and then I'm gonna head over there. We've got a diaper cake. This is amazing. We're dirt. Courtesy, courtesy of you. Diaper cake. 
Who made it? You made it, didn't you? Yeah. It's awesome. Oh yeah, we got my friend. That's amazing. I wish I was that that good. We've got a beautiful note that I've wrote here in the diaper. Just remember, you could be at a cruise in the Caribbean, but instead, you're cleaning this poop. Love, Jesse. what a house looks like when it's just being built. Hey. Look at the cabinets, look how cute. Oh, and they have the counter, is this the same countertop as this or different? It's very close to the same counter we had. It's got a little bit, is this, is this a More different? More gray. Yeah. And there's like the browns in there too. Mud room, there's a cut out mud room. Oh my God. Is this, is this gray? Is this, is, did they tell them to paint the inside gray instead of white? Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. What do you think? I like it. Oh, they, this is their mud room. This is their bedroom. Oh, it has the counters for this already too. Holy crap. This is our friend's house, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed. One of our friends is moving in our neighborhood and they've got a bomb house. Are you gonna be able to take a crap in private? What do you mean? There's just swinging doors instead of... The crapper's door. in here. Is it not? That's your privacy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there yet, but that's where you would do it, I imagine. Oh my. Look at this. This is a big old closet. Little place, that's where I put all my shoes. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Look at that. Beautiful. Is this... Oh, they got this for their TVs? Yeah. Well, we didn't build our house cute, so we didn't get to choose that. What is that, though? Those are probably outlet spots. Outlet spots. So they'll, they'll be carved out. Looks like we're gonna have a farm sink. Uh, that's gonna be your range. Oh, that's the range. What am I talking about? This sink, here. yeah, still farm. Oh, it's white. I like white. Yeah, I kind of wish see, we had white. I told you this is what we should have got, but oh well, you, we didn't well, design it. Sinks aren't that expensive. Maybe later in the future we can you get know it. What they have to do that. Tear up our countertop in order to get a sink in there. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll keep our sink for as long as we can then. Until there's a hole in our sink. Not is this the laundry room? This is a baller laundry room. Yes. Look at this. This is so much better than our laundry room. I know. If we had this little space, I'd be in heaven. <laughs> Dang. Are we gonna go upstairs? You want to go to the office or whatever? Mm-hmm. You want to go to the office or whatever? Mm-hmm. You want to go to the office or whatever? Mm-hmm. You want to go to the office or whatever? Mm-hmm. We're here for Kate's birthday. She's down, she's down there somewhere. Yes. So I'm the one. Oh, hey, Mike. Uh, I'm going to get the bad hombre. What up, Will? <laughs> Like Tell me again about Harry's. They're copying Harry's. Tell me about Harry's. <laughs> Harry's razors. Guys, we haven't heard of them. Oh my god, they're amazing. <laughs> Just Smooth shave. Cheap price. Well, ladies love it. The ladies Ooh. love it. <laughs> Get this man paid, Harry's. His name's Andy. Okay, kids, what's happening? Which Recap one? the night for you. Oh God. Oh, Jesse's had a few. Hi guys. Drinks. I was drowning my sorrows. Drowning your sorrows. So I had some drinks and I had three of these things called the Moonlight or something? No, they're called Moontang. Moontang. They were too sweet. The thing is, sometimes if things get too sweet, my stomach can't handle it. Even if I'm like too drunk or not, my stomach can't handle it. So I went into the public restroom and I was- You don't need to tell them that. I was sick, is what I'll say. Cause it sounds better, I was sick. And now I feel better, but I'm still kind of drunk. But our friends drove us home. Thankfully. Lindsay and Mike. We've thankfully. got good friends. Beautiful Lindsay and Mike. And now we're here and I just need to relax. Like, I didn't want to keep going and try to go past that cause I would've just been like, so now- Miserable. I'm, yeah, so now I'm home relaxing and I feel good and I feel like 
I'm in a good place. Will's trying to talk shiz to me like, oh, you did all this bad. But no, I, I did not say you did anything bad. You were, he was actually, before I even felt sick, he was ready to go home. I was ready to go home. So, I, and then I got sick. And so it made things, you know, pile pop all that. Yeah. Um, we're about to, is it, was it clickbait or not? So we've been thinking about it. We've been, I was kind of reading about it today. And apparently, there's something called a chemical pregnancy. Someone said it in the comments and I kind of looked it up and I kind of feel like it was that now because I was I was late for one, which I'm never late for Aunt Chloe. And then uh, I ended up past that, past that happening, we get a positive pregnancy test, which happens in a chemical pregnancy. And then past that you end up, Aunt Chloe comes to town, which means you miscarry it. And so, um, I think that's maybe what I had because it was so perfect when I read about it. It was so perfect the alignment with everything and how I felt and how my body was. So, I mean, we're gonna, well, obviously it didn't make it. It wasn't, it was never gonna make it. And we'll find out. But we'll now we at least know that there's possibilities we're pushing towards one that can make it. We'll have one strongy at some point. We just have to wait and see, which is annoying how long you have to wait and see. But, no one, no one tells you about this. When you're growing up, all they tell you is don't use protection, do this, do on birth control because you'll get pregnant and all that stuff. No one tells you how hard that it actually is. And I've, I've thought about it now with like friends who are having complications and other friends of friends of friends who are having complications. No one literally tells you like, there can be times where it's really hard to have kids and they, they don't school you or they don't make you knowledgeable on that. That is something that I feel like needs to be something that needs to be told to kids in the future. I don't know if it's my generation that's having this problem and they didn't have it before, but our parents did not ready us for this. <laughs> and it is just a lot. It happens a lot. You have some fertile myrtle friends, but some people it takes like a year. It takes a lot longer than you imagine it would, which is annoying. I'm just sad that our timing didn't work out. I thought it was going to be perfect. Like we could announce it to our family and friends on Father's Day because we could confirm it by then and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, and it was it was perfect timing. Off off week in FIFA, could announce it, like when we had the kid, it would have been an off month in FIFA, so I, it was fine to have a kid at that point. Um, it was our family and friends, perfect time to tell them on Father's Day. It was just everything, it was a London baby possibly, like everything was perfect. We were gonna name it Simon Josh Vikram on Olage Day, and it just, <laughs> I'm kidding, we were not gonna name it that. But they told us if we got pregnant there, we had to do that. But, obviously it didn't work, so. It did not work. Yeah. We'll try again. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for us though. You guys are awesome as always. We will continue to fill you in on Situation Baby, which, is not a situation at all. Mission baby. Mission baby. Mission baby's back down to zero. We'll we'll continue. We'll get another step here pretty soon. Mission Rook. That's our first kid. So Mission Rook. Is Mission Rook. Cool. All right. See you tomorrow.